American Horror Story has this amazing season named Coven. It takes place in New Orleans, it's witchy, it's edgy, it's Southern, it's a whole bunch of things. That is what inspired my shoot with Mira. I put out a model call, she responded, and after taking a look at her Instagram, I decided that she was the perfect person to recreate this idea with. Take a look. Hi, I'm Larry G. I'm a portrait and lifestyle photographer based in Louisiana, from Baton Rouge to New Orleans and everywhere in between. Today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you some behind the scenes thoughts and a few of the final images Mira and I created for the theme Southern Edgy. And Mira's Instagram handles will be here on the screen and down below. So be sure to check her out, give her a follow. And without further ado, let's get into the images. I put out a model call and I didn't put the theme out there because I wanted to match the theme to the person. Mira responded to my model call and after taking a look at her Instagram, I saw this Southern charm yet edgy vibe to her photos. Um, just a little Southern alternative, if you will. We went back and forth on ideas and I pitched her my Southern edgy vibe. I didn't want to say American Horror Story, but Mira picked up the idea and ran with it. She showed up in a white Southern dress with a black hat with some thick-ish sandals. I thought this was the perfect outfit to complete the look to go along with this theme. Now, when it comes to choosing a location, I thought that LSU would be perfect. It was free to access, so there was no trying to pay for a location or pay for parking. LSU has a rich Southern charm, but it also has a few secret spots, a few spots that don't necessarily look like they're in Louisiana, let alone on one of its main university's campuses. This I thought we could use to our advantage. While we would start in a well-known area, I figured the shoot would progress into one of those lesser known areas so that we could really hone in and create this vibe of uh, Southern edgy mysteriousness. I definitely wanted to use the location to our advantage. Seeing as Coven took place in Louisiana, in New Orleans, I figured LSU's campus would be a great way to help recreate that vibe. If you liked the video so far, be sure to give it a thumbs up, click the subscribe button if you haven't already, and be sure to check out my blog in the link below so that you can take your time and actually view the photos. Moving on to the process. When we showed up to the location, it had actually just finished raining. We were actually deciding that day whether or not we could continue with the shoot. I didn't want Mira to get uncomfortable in all of the rain and I don't have a weather sealed body and I didn't want to have my camera not protected. Thankfully, when we showed up, it stopped raining and we were able to take advantage of the still somewhat dark, cloudy sky. Taking advantage of the lighting situation was perfect. I thought in that moment we could use the light and the darkness of the shadowy areas to help really fulfill the concept. If you pay attention to the photos, you'll see this contrast throughout. Mira's white dress with her dark hat, the light cast on her face in the shadowy areas. It is a nice balance of Southern and edgy, light and dark. And that contrast is exactly what I was trying to play on. Most of the images in the beginning set were taken with the Canon 24mm 2.8 lens. This provided me a wide enough shot to capture some of the background while also leaving me an aperture wide enough so that I could create a nice depth of field. As the shoot progressed, I decided to switch lenses to the 50mm 1.8 lens. This allowed me to create a nicer, deeper depth of field with some nice creamy backgrounds while also allowing some tack sharp up close portraits. As we progressed throughout the campus, we found different locations that provided different looks. If you've gone to my Instagram recently, you'll notice the photos of Mira and these web-like structures. These are the photos that really bring out that coven-y vibe. It's 
very witchy and bewitching and it looks like a, a spider web type deal and these were taken in the sculpture garden on LSU's campus. As with most shoots, as you progress, the model opens up, you build a rapport, you can start to make more jokes, get different facial expressions, move around, and seeing as I work with primes, not zooms, I have to use my feet a lot, I have to move around a lot to create these different shots and angles. Overall, I think that we really nailed the concept. I'd love to hear what you thought. Be sure to check out my blog and take your time and go through some of the images. I'll take this time to share with you the final thoughts Mira had at the end of the shoot. I had a really great time. We shot at a bunch of different locations on campus and I really felt like we embodied the original vibe we were going for, which was Southern edgy. Did we complete the look? What do you think? Was it yes, no, too Southern, too edgy? Have no idea what I'm talking about? Leave your comments down below. I'd love to hear what you guys think. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, hit the bell for notifications so you get notified when I post new videos and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for watching. My name is Larry G. You can believe that and I'll see you guys next week.